are five days away from fundamentally transforming the United States of America. Well, that was President Obama five days before the election promising to transform America if elected. As we watch some dramatic political events play out at home and overseas in recent weeks, a growing number of political writers are suggesting the president may have made good on that promise. Dinesh D'Souza joins me now. He's author of the new book, America, Imagine a World Without Her, and creator of the new film, America, opening nationwide on July 2nd. Dinesh, good to see you. And so National Review featured a column, um, an interview uh, with a man named Mark Hel Helpern, who's a conservative military affairs guy, who said as follows, everything that made us what we once were is under attack. He said culturally, in our elementary schools, filth dominating the entertainment industry, traditional faith being sneered at, the idea of American exceptionalism being downgraded. It, uh, if that is true, is, is that the evolution of a country that is maturing in some ways badly, in some ways, you know, well? Or is that to be blamed on President Obama, as he suggests? Well, I think Obama is an important part of the picture. When Obama talked about remaking America, I think what many Americans missed is that in order to remake America, you have to take down the America that's here now. In other words, if you can't remake a bridge without taking down the old bridge. And Obama really did mean that he wanted a fundamental transformation. Now, of, of what, course, Obama why? can't what, do what, that. In your mind, what was it about America that wanted to change? Well, I think Obama comes out of a generation, and this is a generation that began to be formed in the 1960s, but it had a very different view of America than earlier generations. Its view was that America is globally a force for evil. So in some ways, you can say that this group believes in American exceptionalism, but instead of believing that we're exceptionally good, they believe we're exceptionally evil. And I think with Obama, you have a president who, in a sense, views his job as one of containing or uh, curtailing the power of his own country. If you think that America is a global bully, you will try to shrink America's power in the Middle East and around the world. So when people see that happening, I think a lot of people make the mistake of thinking that Obama's a bungler, he's inept, uh, he's just not, he doesn't understand the world situation. He is perhaps the best informed person in the world about what's going on. He understands it. That's why he's doing it. He's trying to achieve the objective of shrinking America's power in the world. Do you think this is something particular to Barack Obama, or would you pin this on the left? In other words, if we have a President Hillary Clinton after President Barack Obama, do you think they're going to be like-minded? I think, first of all, this is not something that we saw in previous Democratic presidents. No one would suspect uh, Harry Truman or John F. Kennedy, not even Bill Clinton. Uh, Jimmy Carter was, was inept. He was a kind of a bungler. But I think with Obama, it's a different... We now have a president who has a very different view of America uh, than uh, most Americans, Republican or Democrat. With Hillary, I think it's a little bit of an open question. She's been an instrument of Obama while serving in the Obama State Department. I personally believe that she is more more like Obama than she is like Bill. But let me ask so you this, Americans if, you were so, believe, if, if, if people were to believe that Barack Obama, I mean, because when I hear you talk, it sounds like you're accusing him of being almost anti-American. You know, if he, if he were anti-American, well, if he didn't love this country, why, why would he want to be president of it? Well, look. Um, it's not that Obama hates America. It's not that he's trying to take America down. It's almost like this. If I, if I was in a family and I believed that my dad was some kind of a serial killer or a child molester, I would still love him. He would still be part of my family, but I would do everything I could to prevent him from doing these evil actions. I would think that that would be not only good for the world, but good for my dad. So with Obama, he believes that he's doing the world a favor and America a favor by controlling this rogue so, elephant um, that so is America the United is the States. child molester in this, in this scenario. I'm just trying to follow Dinesh. I think we may have jumped off the deep end. <laughs> Well, well I, think, I think the way Obama looks at it, he sees that here is America, which has had such a disproportionate power in the world ever since World War II. Uh, he thinks that we invaded Iraq, we invaded Afghanistan, and he looks at the people who are fighting against us as, in a way, freedom fighters who are trying to liberate their own country from us. Well, a lot, a lot of the left have said that openly. I mean, that's not uh, a completely unheard of theory. Uh, some of the left do believe that we've been swaggering around like a big bully uh, to our own detriment and that we need a different foreign policy. And we've seen some of that with this president, you know, and some, some of the consequences of that as well. Dinesh, good to see you. My pleasure.